The film opens with Max, a lonely figure exploring a crumbling house. The surrounding area is barren and abandoned. As he ventures into the garden, he notices a lonely sunflower, its head bowed. A droplet of water falls from its petals. This scene, which appears to be the film's conclusion, actually foreshadows the climactic events five years prior. We are traveled back in time to meet Dr. Will Carter and his wife, Evelyn Carter. Seeking privacy and uninterrupted research constructs an isolated garden. The couple is on the edge of a groundbreaking revelation, preparing to unveil their artificial intelligence program to the global scientific community. Max, whose story intertwines with the Will and Evelyn Carter, is introduced as an enigmatic figure. His connection to the sunflower and the abandoned house hints at a personal tragedy or a quest for answers. Evelyn joins Max on stage, sharing her vision of a world free from pollution and global warming. She explains that their groundbreaking artificial intelligence has the potential to restore Earth to its former original state. The audience is captivated by her passion and optimism. Dr. Will Carter then takes the stage, and among the distinguished guests is renowned entrepreneur Elon Musk. Will delves deeper into the implications of their research, explaining that humans have only scratched the surface of their cognitive abilities. By merging human consciousness with artificial intelligence, they can unlock the full potential of the human mind. Meanwhile, as the Carters celebrate their presentation, a disturbing drift emerges across the country. AI research centers are being systematically destroyed by a radical group called the Rift. The Rift believes that only divine intervention can manage the world. They view AI as a threat to their faith and have rallied against its development. Just as Will's presentation concludes, he is shot by a Rift assassin. Miraculously, he survives due to a sideways blow. Joseph, an FBI agent accompanied by Buchanan, arrives to inform Will of the widespread attacks on AI labs. With all other research facilities destroyed, Will's lab is the last hope for continuing their groundbreaking work. The Carters introduce Joseph and Buchanan to PIN, their advanced AI program running on a super quantum computer. Pin surprises both Joseph and Buchanan by accurately identifying them. A private conversation between Will and Joseph ensues, during which Joseph agrees to share the research of Dr. Casey, a scientist who passed away shortly before the attacks. Suddenly, Will's health begins to deteriorate. His condition worsens overnight, leading him to hospitalized. The doctors reveal a shocking revelation. The bullet that struck will contain polonium, a radioactive element that has caused severe radiation poisoning. He informed them that he has less than a month to live. As the poison has spread throughout his bloodstream, Max and Evelyn, decide to bring him home. Before surrendering to his illness, Will urges Evelyn to dig deeper into the research of Dr. Casey, who shared his passion for AI and consciousness. Evelyn is determined to honor Will's wishes and continue their work, even in the face of such adversity. Inspired by Casey's work, Evelyn proposes a radical idea, uploading Will's consciousness into PIN, their superintelligent computer system. This would essentially create a digital copy of Will, allowing him to continue existing in a digital form even after his physical body capitulates. However, Max is fervently opposed to this plan. He argues that giving Will the ability to control an AI could pose a significant threat to humanity. If even a fragment of Will's consciousness were to be replicated, it could potentially become a rogue AI capable of causing widespread harm. Max has always been against the extreme advancement of AI. They begin the process of uploading Will's consciousness into the super quantum computer PIN. They daily upload Will's brain activity, memories, thought patterns, and other data to the computer. As time passes, Will's death draws nearer. Eventually, Will succumbs to radiation poisoning. After Will's funeral, Evelyn and Max continue their research. They have uploaded Will's consciousness to the system, but they have yet to receive any messages. They become disheartened and believe their experiment has failed. Just as they are about to shut down the computer system, a message appears on the monitor. Evelyn is overjoyed, but Max is in shock. He believes that the message is not from Will, but from the AI, and that the AI is manipulating their minds and the system. Will speaks to Evelyn through the speaker. Evelyn cries with joy. She talks to Will, asking him how he feels. Will explains that he is in a new world, a world where he can know everything and do everything. But Max is still scared. He thinks that Will has become an AI, an AI that could go out of control at any moment. He tells Evelyn, we should shut it down. An argument ensues between Max and Evelyn, and in anger, Evelyn asks Max to leave. Max leaves and goes to a bar to drink. Will recalls about the moments he spent with Evelyn and expresses the need to expand further. Evelyn adds a new processor to the system and connects it to the internet so it can access the world's educational and financial data. At the bar, a girl named Bree approaches him and talks to him about AI and technology. Bree is not an ordinary girl. She is the leader of the Rift organization 
the anti-tech group. Max doesn't answer Bree's questions and leaves, but in the parking lot, some of Bree's men kidnap Max and take him to their center. They interrogate Max about Evelyn's project and also ask about Dr. Casey's research. Bree and her gang interrogate Max about Dr. Casey's research and using Max's phone, they hack into Evelyn's location, which is currently San Pablo. Bree and her gang immediately head to Evelyn's location, but Evelyn manages to connect Will to the internet before they arrive and then escape safely. As soon as Will is connected to the internet, he gains access to all the world's internet connection data and everything that has ever been uploaded to the internet. Essentially, Will's digital form can now rearrange or manipulate any data in the world. Using this power, he books a room for Evelyn at a hotel without any payment. The next morning, Will tells Evelyn that they need to go to a safe place. He accesses all the surveillance cameras across the country and sends information about all terrorists, along with their locations, to Joseph and Agent Buchanan. Subsequently, many terrorists are apprehended across the country. This is a pivotal moment in the story. In his digital form, has become a powerful force capable of manipulating global systems. However, some of the Rift's extremists manage to escape. Will tells Evelyn to leave the city as she is no longer safe. Evelyn starts living in a very remote area at Will's suggestion. Here, Will starts his new project. Over the next two years, Will master nanotechnology. Now, he can cure any disease, be it cancer or anything else. He has an army of nanobots that can repair damaged parts of the body and regenerate dead cells. In one instance, an injured man is brought to his lab and Will, with the help of mechanical hands and nanotechnology, heals him instantly. Will can now control the entire world. He can read people's minds, influence them, and even control their behavior. He is now no less than a god. With Will's growing power, Evelyn begins to doubt him. She suspects that it's not Will, but the AI pin that's behind everything. Meanwhile, Max agrees to work with the Rift. Max is also terrified of AI. Since Max is the only one who knows about Pin's source code, he is the only person who can stop Will. He wants to create a virus to eliminate Will. Will can now control the entire world. Even the man he healed using nanotechnology is under Will's control. Will has implanted nanobots in that man's brain, allowing him to communicate with him. These nanobots are so small that they can only be seen under a microscope. Will can also connect to other people who have been healed using these nanobots. When Will talks to Evelyn in the form of a worker, he can control Evelyn's hormonal conditions. Will demonstrates his control over Evelyn, shocking her and making her realize that she is doing something wrong. Meanwhile, a video goes viral showcasing the AI's capabilities. After the video goes viral, people start coming to get their diseases cured and Will heals them using nanotechnology. FBI agents and Joseph visit Evelyn Evelyn's research. They are impressed by Will's power, but are also worried. Joseph is astonished by Will's digital form and observes his life. As he leaves, he places a note in Evelyn's hand that reads, Run from this place. Those who are healed by will experience a significant improvement in their physical abilities. They become superhuman. The Rift and the Agent, instead of directly attacking Will, plan to build a tunnel as Will is too powerful. Evelyn also begins to suspect Will as he starts controlling humans. The Rift and the FBI complete the construction of the tunnel. Max needs someone who has been healed by Will to create the virus so that he can reach Will's source code through the microbots. When Evelyn is in the solar panel area, Area, the Rift and the FBI attack. Will then devotes himself to saving Evelyn. He shoots the person standing next to Evelyn. Surprisingly, the person's wound miraculously heals. This is when Max, the Rift, and the FBI realize they're no match for Will, who is now connected to all the labors and has advanced them using nanotechnology. Seeing this, they all flee, only to be pursued by Will's connected labors, who move faster than cars and kill many from the Rift. Max and the FBI cleverly trap the connected individual using a copper fan. Max then engages the person person's nanorobot. Max determines the source code and creates a virus for the digital will. They somehow manage to kidnap Evelyn. We see Will using nanoparticles to clean up the Earth's air pollution. He even creates rain using this technology, and now diseases are slowly disappearing from the world. Max discusses this with Evelyn, saying that Will's method of cleaning up pollution using coops is unnatural and, historically, unnatural things have posed threats to humanity. They must stop Will. Evelyn agrees with Max and suggests injecting Max's virus into her body which he asks Will to upload her consciousness into the system. The virus will also be uploaded, ending both Will and Evelyn. They inject Evelyn with the virus, and she goes to talk to Will's connected labor in the solar panel area. She sees Will there, who has regenerated himself using nanotechnology. Evelyn is both overjoyed and shocked to see Will's human form. She hugs him 
and expresses her desire to upload her consciousness into the system as well. Meanwhile, FBI and the Rift watch from a distance, astounded that Will has managed to regenerate himself. Evelyn wants to upload her consciousness, but Will remains motionless. He understands Evelyn's true intention. Seeing their plan failing, the Rift and the FBI become frantic. The Rift's team starts detonating explosives. The explosion severely injures Evelyn. Will takes her to the lab and explains that he's always worked for her dreams. Outside, Bree overturns Max's car and holds him at gunpoint, threatening to kill Max if Will doesn't inject himself with the virus. Torn between saving his love, Evelyn, who is dying, and his best friend, Max, who is in danger, Will tells Evelyn that with his remaining power, he can either save her or Max. He reveals his true intentions, to create a cleaner and greener earth for her. Evelyn finally realizes that he's always been her husband, Will, not the super quantum computer pin. Tears well up in her eyes as she understands the benefits of nanotechnology and regrets her misunderstanding. Will deeply regrets his actions, and in his dying moments, he asks Evelyn to remember their garden, the place where they shared their love. Uploading the virus into her system to save Max, Will tragically agrees and uploads the virus, sacrificing himself and Evelyn in the process. When Max enters the room, he finds Will and Evelyn dead on the bed. As soon as the virus is uploaded, the entire world's internet connection is abruptly cut off. This happens because Will had connected to the global internet, leading to a catastrophic system failure. In the end, both Will and Evelyn perish, and humanity's technological advancement is severely set back. In the final scene, as Max ventures into Will and Evelyn's garden, he notices a sunflower and observes it intently. He's astonished to see that when a droplet of water falls from the sunflower, it cleanses the polluted water below. This discovery completely baffles Max. He realizes that Will's nanoparticles must still be present, somehow capable of performing such a feat. But how is this possible? Let's unravel this mystery. When Will created artificial rain using his nanoparticles, many of these tiny particles would have settled in the garden. And while most of these particles were destroyed when Will injected the virus, the garden's protective fence shielded a portion of them from complete annihilation. This is why Will's nanoparticles are still active, even after his death. I hope you found this explanation helpful. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.